In the previous episode we connected our locations with our vehicles and we got something like this. So we got all of our vehicles and the locations in which they are available. So what we want to do now in our application, uh, we want to choose any of these locations and get the list of vehicles that are available at, the, at those locations. So that's what we are going to be doing in this episode. So first of all, I just want to get the list of my vehicles. Uh, and we already have a component called vehicle list, which we can put into our reservation form. But first of all, uh, I just want to remove this mounted from that vehicle list and copy this dispatch method. Uh, so that we can get the list of our vehicles as soon as our application is mounted. So I'm just going to remove this and go to app.view and just paste it right here. So just like we are getting locations, the same way we are getting our vehicles. Now if I save this, go to the reservation form, uh, I can just do vehicle list. And as you can see, uh, PHP Storm automatically knows that vehicle list exists and uh, it is importing vehicle list from components vehicle list and also registering it in our components. So I'm just writing vehicle list right here, but if you are not using PHP Storm or editor that is capable of doing this, then you would need to add this, this line and this line by yourselves. Okay, so we are getting the vehicle list. If I save this, go to our browser, as you can see, vehicle list, vehicle one, vehicle two, great. Uh, next thing, I just wanna remove this vehicle list from here. So, actually this vehicle list title. So I'm just going to go to vehicle list and in our template, remove this H2 tag, save it, check it out in the browser and that's it. So we are getting uh, those locations. Now what we want to do is when I click, for example, Paris, I want to see which vehicles are available in Paris. And to do that, first of all, we just have to make some changes to our input select component and then create a method for dealing with this kind of change. So in our reservation form uh, that view, uh, ideally we would want to have this situation. So we want to add some vent. So for example, input and then on input. Uh, so when the data changes in our select box, we want to call a method and let's call that method method uh, filter vehicles. Okay, filter vehicles. And then we would define that method right here methods and uh, the method is going to call be called filter vehicles and then we want to do something right here now i said ideally that would be the case uh, but we can't do that just yet let's just test it out i'm just going to say test so console log that test when something changes in our select input save this uh, and let's try this out so as you can see, nothing is happening. Nothing is happening uh, because if this was just a normal select component and not component, but a normal select HTML element, then this would actually work out of the box. But, but since our input select is a separate component, uh, this can't work just uh, like this. Uh, but we have to make it work a little bit differently. So we are going to go into our input select and uh, right here uh, under select, we are going to add uh, input. So add input. So when input happens or input event, when input event happens, uh, then we want to emit, emit a custom event which is going to be called on select. And that cast method is going to uh, emit a value from our select box. In this case, is, uh, that value would be the IDs of our location. So we just do event that uh, target that value. So we are emitting that event 
upwards, so to our parent component. Okay, save this. And now in our reservation form, instead of input, we are going to say on select. So that custom event that we created in our input component. So, or our, our select component. So let's just save this. Okay, and let's see if this works. So if I go to browser and choose any of these components, as you can see, we are now getting test right here. Great. So we actually don't need test to be written out, but we need the value. So how do we do that? Well, we are just going to go to our methods and uh, in the methods, we are going to expect value right here, value. And we are also going to just console log it so that I can show you what uh, what's happening right here. So I'm just going to console log that value, value. Okay, save this. Now, if we go to our browser and I choose Paris, as you can see, we get number two right here. Let me make this bigger so that you can see. If I select Peckham, we get number three. So we are getting the IDs of our locations. Great. Now, the next thing we wanna do, we don't want uh, to do any calculations in our components. As I said, I think I said that uh, in one of the previous episodes, but we wanna keep our uh, components as dumb as possible. So they shouldn't be doing any kind of calculations, filtering and so on. We want to do all that in our store uh, with Vuex. So instead of this, I'm going to dispatch an action, which is going to send the value uh, to our store.js file. So uh, you would just do this, that store, that dispatch. And now we want to dispatch uh, an action which we still didn't create it, uh, which we still haven't created, uh, which is going to be called filter vehicles. And we want to send the value that has been selected in our select box. And I'm just going to add this plus right here and say value. I'm uh, adding a plus uh, because I want this to be a number, not a string, because uh, if I didn't do that, then this would send a string to our store and we don't want that because we will need to compare some IDs and so on. You will see later, Never mind. So just add a plus right here or you can even say uh, parse int value uh, comma 10 and then you would get the same thing. But this is quicker. Okay, so we are sending that value to our store and there is just one more thing I wanna do and that is uh, go to our input select and add another option right here, which is going to have a value of null. And I'm going to say, choose location. Okay, save this, check it out in the browser refresh the page and now we are not getting New York immediately but we are getting choose location and then we can choose New York, Paris, Beckham and so on. As you can see we are now getting these errors because uh, view doesn't know what filter vehicle actually is. So unknown action because we still didn't create that action and we are going to do that right now. So in store.js, we are going to create a new action, which we are going to be calling filter vehicles. And it's going to take a commit and a state. We need the state because first of all, we want to get the list of all vehicles and then filter it down to the locations that were chosen. And of course, we want to need the value of that location. Okay, now, so we want to filter that list using the filter function and find the index function. Now this is just a simple JavaScript code. Well, actually it's not that simple, but it's vanilla JavaScript code and it has nothing to do with view. This is just pure JavaScript. So we want to do state vehicles uh, and then filter. Now we want to uh, create another variable called uh, found locations and this is going to be equal to vehicle locations find index find index of location 
application. And now we want to just return uh, all of the locations that have an ID of this value right here. So if we go to our browser, uh, this is our vehicle, these are our locations, and we want to check if this ID right here exists. Actually, if this ID is equal to the value that we are getting from our select box. Okay, so to do that, we just do location id is equal to value that we are getting and then we want to just return found locations that are not equal to minus one because this is going to give us either a zero or one or minus one if this right here is not equal to each other okay so now we should be getting our filtered locations so we can check that out by just doing filter.log and cons log our locations out so just to see what we are getting save this go to our browser go to our application and if i just do new york we can see that we have two uh, vehicles in new york we have no vehicles in paris and we have two vehicles in peckham so if I go to the back end and go to our vehicles, we can see that vehicle two is in New York and in Peckham and the vehicle one is in New York and in Peckham also. Uh, okay, so they are both at the same location. Let's just change this out and make this to be Paris safe. Okay, so that we have some vehicles in Paris also. So if I choose Paris right now, we should be getting one vehicle. So we are getting one vehicle in Paris, uh, two vehicles in New York, and one vehicle in Peckham. Okay, great. Now we are getting, actually we are filter, filtering our list of vehicles. Now we wanna commit them to our state. So first of all, I wanna create a new state right here called filtered vehicles. Uh, which is going to be an empty, uh, empty array and uh, then we are going to say filtered so state uh, is going to be state filtered vehicles this is going to be our getter which we are going to be using uh, in just a bit now we want to get uh, actually create a new mutation which is going to be called set filtered and it's going to take state and vehicles or whatever you want to call this you can call this filter if you want and now this set filtered is going to commit uh, our changes to the state so state dot filtered vehicles is going to be vehicles well just like we did in get vehicles and get locations and of course we need to commit uh, the changes that we are uh, adding with our actions so we just do commit set filtered and filtered so we are sending this filtered uh, variable to the set set filtered mutation okay if we save this and go to our browser now we can check this out in view or view dev tools so if I click right here as you can see we have a few we have few states uh, and those states are filtered vehicles locations and vehicles locations have uh, three items in it vehicles have two because we only have two vehicles and as you can see filtered vehicles is currently empty so if I change this to New York now our filtered vehicles is an array of two objects if I change it to Paris it's one change to Peckham uh, then it's also one okay great now <clears throat> we need to display that on our page somehow and to do that we are going to be using our vehicle list component uh, but as you can see this is currently not changing because vehicle list is actually taking this data right here so vehicles not filtered vehicles that is why this 
constantly is uh, staying the same. Okay, so let's configure our vehicle list a little bit better so that it will receive the new change data. So let's say we want to use our vehicle list for just displaying all of the vehicles. Maybe we will have a page uh, in our application which will say all vehicles just so that we can present them. But also we want to use it to display filtered vehicles. Now how do we do that? Well, I'm just going to copy actually let's go from the beginning we're not this is the end part okay so first of all we are going to create props and that props actually we are just going to create one prop which is going to be called filtered and it's going to be type of boolean okay and the default value is going to be false great now i'm just going to copy this paste it down here and i'm going to say so this is uh, our for each loop when we are just want to display our vehicles so right here i'm just going to say what happened now okay so i'm just going to say v if equals to not filter so if our component is not filtered component then display this but if our component is filtered to component so the if is filtered uh, then display this right here and the only change of course is uh, it's going to be uh, vehicle index in filtered vehicles right and of course this won't work by itself but we need to have a computed property right here which is going to be called filtered vehicles and it's going to uh, take our getter that we created right here in the store which is called filtered vehicles right so we just instead of all vehicles say filtered vehicles and that's about it so this is our vehicle component as i said now it will be used for filtered vehicles and also for vehicles that are not filtered so just a list of vehicles save this of course this still doesn't work right so nothing is changing uh, this doesn't work because we didn't say that this is a filtered list so if we go to our reservation form and in vehicle list we just add filtered so when dealing with boolean values you can just add filtered right here or filtered equals true uh, but you just add filtered and that's it so save this and let's see if this works right now so as you can see it works already so in peckham we have only one vehicle which is vehicle 2 in Paris we also have just one vehicle and in New York we have two vehicles right so this is the way this would work okay so this is it for this episode uh, remember everything we did here will be available for you on github the link will be in the description below and as always thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one